Why am I upside down? All right, so we have unpacked all of our gear, and we thought it was going to shoot dominoes. But apparently not. Apparently I, not. I think it might be called a domino pad, probably because it's like a king action, like a king hmm. action thing, because dominoes are like all king actions, when one falls, all can fall. I guess we'll find out. All right, so step one, we're looking at the steps here, we need... I think it's this. Is that one, right? And then two of the longer white bolts, right? And then two of the yellows, right? Okay. So let's put those all together and see what happens. I don't think they tighten. I think you just put them on. Okay. Step two, now we need this thing right here. We're gonna put that thing on what you just did on the one on the farther side. On what farther side? Uh, the one farther away from me. This one? That one, that looks good. Okay. Now you can take this one right there. And just put it on top? Uh-huh, and then tighten it with the nuts that we have there. So I just put them on like that? Yep, yep, yep. And tighten those up. Now we need this compass looking thing. Okay. And it looks like we need some of the smaller bolts. All right. How many? Yeah. One, two, three, it looks like. Three? Looks like three. And three of these two we think, okay? That's what it looks like. All right, so now we gotta figure out it's gotta be Crunch Labs side, right? And it looks like the bottom three is the ones that we're gonna be putting those through. So let's put them through the bottom three. This one, this one, and what's the last one? Uh, must be on that side right there, right? The side on the opposite of the uh, The opposite, no, no, no. All through the same side, yep. And put those on top? Yep. Okay, and it's done. Step five. Okay, we need one of those yellow thingies. The yellow thingy? Uh, yep, and we need our, yep, we need that thing. And we need to put the yellow in between the blue. What do you mean by in between? Well, you can see just like that, right? There's a yellow thing in there. Well, we need to match the circles, all right? So if we look at the instructions right here, we're matching the circles, putting those in. Okay. And then that goes, The we separate them a little. Oh, actually, no, we don't. Looks like a clock. Kind of looks like a clock. That's what we're doing. Now we need this red, red thingy. thingy. Yep. And uh, we're going to put that on this one. So let's get our clock going there. See what this clock? Yep, like the number six. So that is where we're at right six. now, which is funny. We're at step six and we made the six. Now. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have that together now, All right? Yep. What is our next step? <laughs> That's a step 10. We'll put that thing and now we have to put it right there, it looks like, right? Right on top? It looks in between. In between. Yep, and then we need one of these, right? And one of the long bolts. Put it in between. All right, and so the long bolt should go start on the back side of it. We have this long bolt here. Yeah, you can use that one too. On the back, and then use this no. So that's what you do. So, as you can see, it is much easier. With a jig. With the jig to get this rubber band through. Okay. Which means now that we've gotten that through, we have to clip to the tops and we should be good. And we got it. All right, next step. 
So now it looks like a little starship from Star Trek. And have that all set up, right? Now we need one of those clear O-rings, it looks like. And we're gonna put it right over from bar to bar. Yep, let's do that. Nice tie, that cow will split and you should be able to. Alright. Clip underneath, and then I have to stretch it out a little more. And. Step 18, we need one of these. And we gotta go through the orange and connect it to the yellow. So let's do that. All right, we need one of the yellow ones and we need four of those blue foot things. So, the yellow shuffle thing? yep, let's do that up. Next up, we need like two blue hatchet looking thingies and then two of those clear O rings, and those have to go through here. Well, it looks like we're putting the hatchet bottoms this way, it looks like, like that. Uh, and then we'll flip that over and put our O-rings on. All right, so looks like we have that lined up properly now. Let's go to step 22. Okay, so the last step we have to do is just make sure that this is calibrated by moving this. So then when we push this down, you can hear a click. If you don't hear a click, then it is not calibrated properly. And to test it out, put the ball here, hold this, and then push down on that blue Crunch Labs thing. Ah! <laughs> 